Hello, this is Amy. Long time no see. I just came back from my golden week vacation in Cuba. And since it's been a while, I kind of lost my motivation to film anything for my YouTube channel because of jet lag. But I'm starting to recover, so I want to resume making iPad tutorials again. I bought a lot of these cars from Cuba as veneers, and although the screen looks a bit crowded, I want to film my tutorial today like this. Today I will be introducing an app that I recommend, but before I start, I want to show you some pictures from Cuba that I took. There were many sceneries in Cuba that looked like scenes from movies set in an old town or one scene from a movie, and the colorful classic cars were so cool. I took a bunch of photos of classic cars, and I want to show you those once I edit them. To manage or edit pictures, I use an app called Lightroom made by Adobe. I want to introduce how to use this app in a different tutorial. And for today, I want to share with you another photo editing app. The app I will be introducing to you guys today is called Pixel Loop made by Enlight. I want to give you guys a tutorial on this today. This is a free app, and since I can't see the price of the app once I buy it, I'm not sure the price, but I'm pretty sure it's still free to download. You must be wondering what this app can be used for. Well, this is a really interesting app that lets you move a section of the photo. Just like this, tap on the sky, sea, or whatever you like to animate, and it transforms that section like a video. Enloy has released many apps for Photoshop, and if you can make use of the features on them, you can create eye-catching pictures. So for today, I will be transforming the photos I took in Cuba and create a video out of them. Let me begin my tutorial. First, open Pixel Loop and upload an image. Tap on the image button on the top left and click on new project. I'm going to upload a picture of this sunset I just showed you earlier. Once you upload a picture, the interface looks like this. There are many editing features on this toolbar down below, so we'll be using them to start editing. Today I plan on introducing you to some of the tools. First, I'll introduce you to the tool on the left called Animate, which will transform your image into an animation. Once you click on Animate, more settings will pop up like this. The first thing you do when you want to animate your images is to click on Path. I want to make the clouds move from right to left, so I'll tap on the clouds and make a path from right to left. I'm basically drawing lines that indicate the direction of the clouds. Once you're done drawing paths, click on the play button on the right side. Can you see? You should be able to see the clouds moving slowly. The photo will move according to the path you drew, but you can see that the castle, the part that you don't want to move, is also moving too. To fix this, you must use freeze and make the animation stop. So click on freeze and color in the part that you want to keep fixed. Just like masking with the brush tool, coloring the castle and the horizon as well since I don't want to animate that either. That should do it. Now that I've finished, click on the play button on the right again. You can see that the part I color stays the same while the sky and the ocean move according to the path I drew.
This is fine as it is, but I want the ocean to move differently. So I'm going to use the path tool again and draw another path. Like this, I want the ocean to move from down to up. You can use the slider at the bottom to adjust the speed of the animation. I think the slowest speed suits this photo, so I keep it at the slowest. And that will be all, and you can make an animated photo in a second. But the highlights in the photo were a bit harsh, so I want to do a tutorial using a different photo. So we will add some animation to a photo of a waterfall. First, click on Animate, then Path. I only want to animate the falling water, so I'm going to draw two lines along the water. Then, just like in the previous example, the entire image is going to move. But this time, we are going to use a tool called Encore. This tool lets you select an area you want to animate. You simply pinpoint the sections that you want to animate like this, and you won't animate the area beyond that. You use these dots to surround the area, and you can edit the location after you place them. If you want to delete the path or the dots that you place, just click on the trash can icon and it will be deleted. Then just click on path and you can add new path. I started drawing the path a little too high, so I changed it so that the water moves from a lower point. And for the area at the top of the waterfall, I won't be using Encore, but the Freeze tool we used earlier to keep it fixed. It's a little hard to see, but there is a person standing right here, so I'm going to freeze this person using the same tool. Like this, if I click play, the water area is animated really nicely. Now I will be animating the water in the bottom left. Click on path, then draw a path according to the water flow and then use Encore to limit the area that will be animated and not. Just like this, the animation is complete. When the animation is added to photos, they're called cinemagraphs and they're usually a little troublesome to make. By using Pixel Loop, you can make them very easily. I'll introduce other functions as well. There is a function called Overlay that lets you add animated filters and effects like this. If you add too many effects, it could look like a kid made the edit, so I don't recommend it too much. But today I'm going to add a fog effect to this photo. You can use the slider below to adjust the amount of fog, so I'm going to move it to the middle, and I'm done. I think I made these edits really nicely, to the point where I almost forgot that this was originally a photo. I made two more edits, so I'll be showing you those in fast forward.
This is the end of the tutorial for the two pictures. Lastly, regarding how to export these images, click on the export button at the top right corner. Then it lets you choose the length and quality of the animation using the slider. Once you export it, these files will be saved in your photos folder like this. This is what the final product looks like. I made this one so that only the fire is animated, but if you edit it well, you can make it more realistic. But the fire sticks in his hands weren't animated well, so I think if I use the Encore and Freeze tools better, I think the quality would be better. So that's all for today. Today I introduced an app called Pixel Loop, and I still have more apps that I highly recommend. I will add a link in the description box down below to the videos I recommend, so go check them out. If you have any apps that you'd like to share, there are still many apps that I haven't used, so leave me a comment down below and I will check them out. Anyway, that's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.